The Pektamsa Temple was founded in 647 AD by Great Master Chajang Desa in Hangeri Saraksan. The Pektamsa Temple has a long history of being repeatedly destroyed by fire and reconstructed. The last time it was destroyed was during the Korean War in early 1950s, and the present Pektamsa was rebuilt in 1957. The name Pektamsa means 100 Water Ponds Temple, expressing the hope to protect the temple from fire. Following Mane Hanyong Un Sunim, who was a poet, Musan Oh Hyun Sunim was an active prose poet. You can see his poems everywhere in the temple compound. The temple stay program attracts people from all over the world, regardless of their religions. Past the Sushimgyo Bridge, the Kumgangmun, the Diamond Devad Gate, the Purimun, the Non-Duality Gate, and finally the Kungnak Pujan, the Amitabha Hall, which is the main Dharma Hall of the temple, can all be seen on one line. In front of the Dharma Hall stands a three-story stone pagoda, and inside the hall, the Amitabha Buddha, which is a Korean national treasure, sits at the center with the Shinjungdo, the altar painting of guardian deities at the right-hand side. The outside walls of the main Dharma Hall are decorated with the ten ox herding stories describing the path to enlightenment and self-development in Sun tradition. Next to the main Dharma Hall is the Nahanjan, the Arahat Hall. The Arahats, who are the fully enlightened disciples of Sakyamuni Buddha. Paintings recounting stories in sutras adorn the outer walls of the Arahat Hall, and the Sanshingak, the mountain spirit shrine, is nearby the main Dharma Hall. At the far right side stands the Manhe Memorial Hall and the statue of Mane Hanyong Unsunim, who was an activist monk for the independence movement against Japanese occupation. The Bell Pavilion, the Tea House, and the Monastic Community Hall are all assembled in the temple area. Pekdamsa Temple has a mandatory Sun Center listed under the Joge Order of Korean Buddhism and monks with more than 40 years practice can enter the Mumunguan, a no-door retreat. Water flowing down from the Techongbong Peak make a wide valley where visitors pile up small stones, reflecting on themselves and making wishes. Those little wishing stone pilings offer a spectacular sight. During rainy seasons, those pilings crumble down and again new ones are piled up. Deep forest paths surrounding the Pektamsa temple make a wonderful environment for walking and meditation. <laughs>